Top 5 Sexiest Attention Grabbing Compliment Giving Tip Men's Fragrances for Fall 2024. Without any further ado, I want to start by House of Latafa, one of those underrated sexy fragrances from this house, Art of Arabia 3. So, this is from the Pride line. It has a very outstanding and dense, sexy, fruity, dried fruity type of DNA. It is like creamy buttery at some points has a very smooth yet strong type of scent profile i really enjoy it and lasts pretty solid like solid eight hours plus in terms of longevity and i can get two hours of great projection and surge at some points like say let's say two hours of great projection and even better sillage has a very huge sillage i like the way that leaves central behind let's continue by one of those truly coffee based fragrances from House of Salvatore Fragamo, Fragamo Humo. There is few versions in this line. I'm talking about the regular Humo. There is also Humo Signature and few versions, so Casual Life and so on. So I say truly uh, coffee based because when I read or hear about the coffee notes in some fragrances and I go and try them, actually I cannot find that much a uh, touchable and uh, let's say prominent type of coffee note. But this one is different. Coffee is really Touchable and prominent here, especially at the opening. Great atomizer. Yeah, it is like yummy. Definitely has that tiramisu-ish vibe to it. Coffee is bitter at the top. I like it. And it is like powdery. At the dry down gets a bit darker, like woody, then sweet and somehow leathery. It gives some sort of leathery feel to it at the base. And it is like dark. And sweet type of fragrance one of those gourmand fragrances that is not juvenile and has definitely a solid weight to it I wish it was a bit stronger and performance was a little bit better than this one like 8-10 hours but I can get max 6-7 hours plus longevity with this one which is okay especially for indoors and projection and CIGs average for first hour hour and a half maximum for two hours very soft and inoffensive let's continue by a Middle Eastern fragrance which is a clone fragrance House of Afnan I'm talking about 9 p.m. It is a gourmand fragrance, but for example, not as masculine as Umo by Salvatore Fragamo. It is a bit juvenile in the juvenile side or not as complex as Art of Arabia 3. It is a flat fragrance, not that much complex, but gets the job done. It is flat version of Jean Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. For example, at the opening, I don't have that very yummy, juicy pear note. And it is like sugary sweet, but ultra mild is a bit herbal and sweetness is at the base, like vanillic type of sweetness. I don't get that much complex herbal notes here and that juicy pear note, but it is very close still to ultra mild in the air. For example, in the ultra mild, I have some sort of earthy feel because of amber, which is also missing here, but. Again, all in all, it is a great job, goes to the same direction, gets as big as the real stuff compliments. With this one, I can get like 8 to 10 hours plus longevity, let's say solid 8 hours on the skin. Last and lasts on the clothing like 3-4 days. And projection and CRG is very good for first 2-3 hours. And complimenting the factor, as I said, it is as big as ultra male, to be honest. Let's continue by a very underrated juice, which gets solid compliments and smells highly expensive and dressed up. One of those must have cheapies, Intoxicate by Lafette, which is exactly like by Killian's Angel's Share. Exactly. I have it here, actually. Head to head, I have to say they are very close, but this one smells denser with the, the real stuff. I can get like six, seven hours plus max longevity, good six hours, but this one is one of those solid eight, seven, eight hours plus lasting fragrances and projects great if you want. A better projection even compared to the real stuff with the exactly same scent profile try this one. Oh wow it is like sweet dried fruity slightly boozy actually booziness is here more pronounced compared to the by Killian's and gesture especially at the opening at the dry down they are exactly similar and you're gonna get absolutely better performance out of this one with like 25-30 bucks. And at the top of the list I highly recommend this one if you are into sexy, gourmand and manly men with added some sort of bad boy vibe, 
Fragrances, this is a must try, a must have for you. I'm talking about this great cheapy Mercedes-Benz Club Black Edition. So about the scent profile, let's remember it again. Bad at the moisture, by the way. <sighs> this is all about vanilla. It is a bit creamy, meaning of buttery, let's say. I can get some sort of weight like smoke and leather at the base. But it is very well balanced, not to your face or overwhelming. At some point, it reminds me of this one. This bad boy, this fucking sexy fragrance. Alther by Parfums de Molly, but this came before. To be honest, maybe they're going after this. So I can get like, uh, it lasts, but like on off. Sometimes I think it is like six hours. Sometimes I think it is like 12 hours, but when I sweat it, comes back again it is one of those fragrances that is on off for me but let's say between eight to ten hours i can get longevity with this one projection is average for first two hours but siage is way above average has a very crazy bubbly loud type of siage and gets solid compliments i really like it i highly recommend it mercedes Benz club black take care guys bad adomaze which kind of adomaze is this it's like a line take care